All right, hello, algebra students. So uh, we are working on our project, and today in class, I asked people to throw out a random topic, and I would write some word problems that are related to that topic. Remember, that's the basic idea of your project, is that you get to choose whatever topic you want, and then you get to make up word problems that are all related to that topic. The only requirements are really that you do different types of word problems based on what we've studied this year. So one variable equations, one variable inequalities, two variable equations, two variable inequalities, and then systems, which just means that you're bringing more than one of those things at the same time. And so I will share with you some of the uh, examples that we came up with today on the fly. These are not my proudest word problems that I've ever written, but they do fit the criteria. And I did not go through the process of solving each of these word problems and graphing the solutions, but remember that is an expectation on the project as well. So the first topic was bugs. So we wrote about word problems about different types of bugs. Um, my one variable equation was just about how many bug legs were on the windowsill. And I uh, wrote that there were two spiders and 76 total bug legs and asked how many insects there are. So if you know that insects all have six legs, you can see where I came up with 6x plus 8 times 2 equals 76. Um, you could have just written 6x plus 16, and that would have also worked just as well. Uh, my one variable inequality example was thinking about ladybug spots. Uh, again, not a very exciting word problem, but we're saying that each ladybug has four spots, and there's at least 64 ladybug spots. So because I use the word at least, that makes it into a greater than or equal to problem instead of just being strictly equals. Sliding on down for a couple more bug problems here. Um, for my two variable equations and inequalities, I started writing about infestations and so aphidolites is a type of uh, bug that attacks aphid, aphids and uh, can help with aphid infestations so the two variable equation you have an aphid infestation gross you purchase aphidolites in packages of 10,000 and you get 24 free ladybugs as a gift and so I think of the two things I don't know I don't know how many packages were purchased and I don't know how many total bugs there were and so I wrote a two variable equation, y equals 10,000 x plus 24. So you're not going to like solve for x or y there. Instead, you'd be drawing a graph that shows all the possible combinations of bugs based on how many packages of aphidolites you order with a slope of 10,000. Then similar sort of idea with the two variable inequality, you know that you need at least 20,000 total bugs to control your infestation and you're purchasing packs of ladybugs, so 24 packs of ladybugs and 10,000 packs of aphidolites. And so then here, because you need at least 20,000, that changes it to the greater than or equal to, and this is like a standard form inequality. So there's a few examples of word problems about bugs. In the next class, the topic was party supplies um, from like a party planning store. And so sort of similar style here, one variable equation, you buy 12 balloons and pay a $5 fee for inflating them, and then you have a total cost. So that would be a 12B plus 5 equals 125 sort of equation. You can solve that. Ignore the little picture at the bottom. One variable inequality would be, um, I guess I thought of, purchasing cups. So you have eight cups already, but you know there's going to be at least 40 people and you can buy packs of 15 cups. And so eight plus 15 P needs to be greater than or equal to 40. That way everybody has at least one cup to use. Again, not my proudest word problems, but they do fit the different types of relations and the different numbers of variables. So two variable equation, I came up with streamers and party hats and you need to spend exactly $44.25. Party hats, 75 cents. Streamers, 50 cents. You can come up with a standard standard form equation. 75 cents per hat plus 50 cents per streamer, 44 bucks and 25 cents. And then my two variable inequality, just a little bit silly that you've got big balloons and little balloons, and you want at least three times as many little balloons as big balloons there. And uh, so there we go. Big balloons and little balloons, three times involved. Um, then in the last class, we talked about snakes. Um, so snakes was the topic for my last period. And so some of these are really stretching uh, the ideas there, but they, they kind of work. So the one variable equation, I wrote that there's 
seven bushes in the garden and they have cute little harmless garter snakes in them and there are three snakes on the grass 38 total snakes and so you could write 7s plus 3 equals 38 and solve for the number of snakes per bush um, sort of similar vibe with the one variable inequality on a hike you see at least 15 snakes five of them are cute little garter snakes and how many snakes aren't and so Really quite silly problem, but uh, you could just say n plus 5 is greater than or equal to 15 because you have the five garter snakes and some non-garter snakes. That's what n stands for. And again, it says at least, so that's why I wrote greater than or equal to. Um, then we got even weirder, I guess, with the two variable equations. So you're purchasing snakes. You're purchasing garter snakes for 50 bucks a pop and rattlesnakes for $20 a pop, and you have $370 to spend on snakes, and so we could come up with a standard form equation, 50G plus 20R equals 370. And then the last one, I think I was really running out of steam with my creativity here, but just saying that Mr. Maurer gets scared when there are more than 12 snakes around. Um, and so garter snakes and rattlesnakes are the two types of snakes in this word problem, so G plus R is greater than 12. Um, so just try to mix it up and be creative. The point of this video is not that you're going to copy any of these topics, not that these are even good topics, not that these are even good word problems, but the point of this video is that you can take any topic and write a bunch of different word problems that are related to it. So try to have fun with it. Also take it seriously and make sure you're working on it uh, over the course of the next couple weeks.